Hello friends, welcome back to another video of automation testing insider. So today I'm going to talk about what is system testing and what are the different types of system testing. So let's get started. So what is system testing? So guys already we have spoken about what do you mean by unit testing and what is integration testing. So if you haven't watched those videos, then I would recommend first go through those videos and please watch them and come back to this video. So I have provided the link in the description box of this video the complete manual testing playlist so please go there and watch them and then please come back to this video now if you talk about uh, like briefly if you talk about unit testing so what we have done in as part of unit testing we have tested the individual module so that is nothing but the unit testing so these are the we are developing a software guys and these are the part of so we have tested individual module in as part of unit level testing so this is my first level which is performed by developer or white box tester so we have tested all the modules individually later on we'll integrate all the modules together and when we perform the testing on integrated module integrated module so this level is called integration testing integration testing integration test level or integration testing so what we do here so we mainly check the data flow from one module to another module so here we have different modules which are integrated and we mainly check the data flow from one module to another module so that is the main purpose of integration testing we check the interfaces between the modules so that is integration level or integration testing now the third level is system test and we perform on integrated system integrated system so this is my third level guys so this is called system testing system testing level system test level or system testing so this is performed once all the modules are integrated and tested as part of integration testing then we go for system testing so what we test over here so basically we check the functional aspect and non-functional aspects of the software or our system so that is part of system testing that is system testing here we also check like end-to-end -end testing so what is what is the meaning of end-to-end -end testing and what is the difference between end-to-end -end testing and system testing so and in end-to-end -end testing what we do we check the data flow from beginning to the end we check the functionality from one point to another point like from beginning till the end we'll check the complete flow of the application so this may be in one system or maybe different system as well how the data is flow from one system to another system whereas in system testing system testing will will test in the in a in one integrated system so that is called the system testing and we can say guys uh, system testing is the super set of end to end testing so we can say end to end testing is the part of system testing or in other words we can say uh, end to end testing is the subset of system testing system testing is the super set of end to end testing and end to end testing is the subset of system testing and in uh, any other differences between system test and uh, uh end to end testing is we perform system testing after the integration testing here you can see after the integration testing we perform system testing and end to end testing is performed uh, as part of system testing only so these are the differences between system testing and end to end testing and the fourth level will be uat which will be done by the end user end user and you can see guys uh, this is completely done by the tester tester the system test and this is done by the developer or white box tester and this is uh, done by the tester and in some companies with the help of developer as well and this is this is the system this is the testing where completely testers are involved 
and because uh, here there is no involvement of the developer or the end user and this is completely by the end user so this is all about system testing guys which uh, we are going to discuss today so now let's talk about some of the theoretical stuff about the system testing so system testing is testing conducted or on a complete integrated system to evaluate the system's compliance with the with its specified requirements so whatever requirements we have uh, we got from the customer we have created the system test plan we have already spoken about as part of verification and validation model so as part of uh, whatever requirements we have captured we test the system test like all the functionality is working perfectly fine and uh, perfectly fine or not and we do check the functional as well as non ex uh, non functional aspect of the system testing is conducted by the tester which we have spoken about and it is black box testing so what do you mean by black box testing so mainly we focus on the application uh, sorry functionality of the application we don't focus on the like uh, the other uh, like non functional function of the application like uh, security performance or internal uh, structure of the system mainly we'll focus on the we don't care about the internal structure of the system we mainly focus on the functionality of the application so that is black box testing so this testing is conduct after the complete code is developed and during system testing we will conduct both functional and non functional testing which we have spoken about so what are the different types of system testing guys so i already have discussed like we have functional testing and non functional testing yeah so these are the different testing guys we perform as part of functional testing as well as as part of non functional testing so these are the different testing we perform and if you remember i have already created a video on testing hierarchy where i have explained like in brief about all these testing which i have mentioned over here like whatever functional testing user interface testing object properties error guessing input domain already i have explained so i'll provide the link in the description box of this video on top of it so you can go there and watch this uh, the complete testing hierarchy so will you will understand better so this diagram is the part of that uh, testing hierarchy guys and also i have spoken about non uh, functional testing as well in brief however in coming days i'll explain each of the testing in in a separate video and I, i'll explain with the help of an example as well so let's move on so what are the advantages of system testing so it helps in getting maximum bugs before acceptance testing because we do perform functional as well as non functional testing so we get so many defects in terms of functionality and non -fun function of the application it ensures the application is validated as per customer requirement software requirement specification and functional requirement specification because we do write the system test cases as part of uh, based on software requirement specification and functional requirement specification so what is srs so this talks about the functionality of the application or uh, and functional requirement specification is also but this is detail level guys so functional requirement specification will talk about the functionality in detail level so mainly this is used by the tester uh, only testing team but uh, we'll uh, also take an example of or uh, take help of srs as well which is mainly uh, used by the uh, project manager or subject matter experts or business analyst so it is first testing level in which whole system is under test from end to end so we have already spoken about end to end testing as well so this is the phase where the whole system test uh, system is under test from end to end this technique phase uses the test environment which is similar to the real business environment or production environment so yeah this is uh, same like the production environment guys so once all the systems are integrated once everything is done development and everything is done then we go for the system testing so it will be like uh, like staging requirement or it will be a kind of replica of the production environment so you can treat like this so what is functional testing guys so these are black box testing techniques so 
already spoken about which test the functionality of the application functional testing validate the application's functionality is working as per requirement or not so in functional testing we do care about how the system is uh, performing functionally like how it is functioning whether it is functioning correctly or not as part of functional testing so take an example of gmail so what whatever we do in gmail like uh, we log in into the gmail and we compose the uh, email and we send the email we write uh, to address to where uh, we are going to send the email and subject line and we'll write in the body our contents and then send the email and once we send the email it will go to the send box correct and send items it will go so this is what we test as part of functional testing like the functionality we will check we don't care about how internally it it works and what is the performance to send the email how much time it is taking what is the security thing security related things we don't care about that so this is functional testing it is quality assurance process functions are tested by fitting them input and examining the output so fitting them input means we are sending the email we are putting the date uh, we are putting some data over there like uh, to address and then we are putting the subject line and we are putting body also uh, the con contents as well after sending the email we will go to the recipient and will verify whatever we have sent whether we have received those or not so that is kind uh, like we are uh, providing the data input and we are getting the in terms of output so based on the data like whatever we have provided we verify whether we are getting the expected outcome or not so these are the different uh, uh, we have seen in the diagram also guys uh, type of functional testing user interface testing object properties testing we have error guessing testing input domain database testing calculation testing links and url testing these are the different testing and uh, as i have already told so as part of uh, hierarchy uh, when i have explained the hierarchy complete hierarchy of the software testing where uh, i have spoken about the brief about all these testing so please go and watch this that uh, that video the link is given in the description box non-functional testing so what do you mean by non-functional testing so it is the type of testing where we check non-functional aspects like performance, usability, reliability, etc. of a software application. We test the characteristics and feature of an application. Non-functional testing has a goal to validate the performance of the software. So what are the different types of non-functional testing guys? So we have usability testing, performance testing, memory leakage testing, volume testing, compatibility testing, security testing, configuration testing, and recovery testing and we have installation testing as well so if you want to again uh, i have provided the link in the description box so please go that uh, complete testing hierarchy where uh, you can understand better and however uh, in coming days i'll talk about uh, all these testing types in detail with the help of example as well with the last one compliance testing So this is all for today guys about the system testing. So thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Bye bye.